decide to take a set off the reigning world champion, or will MKLeo show that he is no joke ever again? Now, very important to know is that this is best of five, the first of five. Best, best of five game in the, uh, in the entire tournament. Top three, it is going to be best of five to losers finals. It also is going to be best of five. Now, I've seen Ally play against Jokers. I've seen MKLeo play against Snakes. All I know is that MKLeo, the way he uses the down B to charge for our scene, that is one of the most effective ways of channeling it. Comes out so quickly, especially on these large explosives. Now, this is going to set the tune for the entire tournament. If Ally is able to beat Leo, then we might see in a scenario where Leo, you know, gets upset and maybe we don't see him win the tournament, maybe someone else will. Yeah, he's got to go through Mars with the case or whoever happens to win that loser semifinals match. Yeah, but then if Leo wins, then it might just come down to just Leo winning again. It might just be Leo asserting his dominance. This match will tell us that Ally, if that first stock is any sign, is not going to go down without a fight. First stock with a beautiful up here. Oh, the grappler come back down into the up snap. That's going to kill Leo. How do you find these? He definitely felt like he was pressuring Ally to, uh, to air dodge that scenario and then punish him with the up smash here. Leo definitely thrives up a pressure. In the pre-game interview, he definitely said that he's not afraid of camping if he needs to, but he's also not afraid of approaching to make the opponents make mistakes. And as you can see it on his playstyle, he's not afraid of going all the way out there for something. Oh up beat mistake, big mistake right here. Gets backer off the level. I did like, uh, I looked like uh, MKLA using that down beat to reflect the grenade back at Ally. Given the fact that a lot of snakes at the time throwing the grenade, right when it explodes, it was very clever. But it was no problem. MKLA using that amazing back here we've said time and time again to get that second kill. And just like that, Leo went from losing the game oh. to immediately just winning by a decent lead at this point. And what, he, has, he has not stopped hitting Ally for like 13 seconds. He has not stopped! <laughs> Waiting for that, but he's not dead quite yet. I feel like Ally definitely froze up a little bit there. He didn't really expect the counter like that. Ooh. Gets the fallen back and forth. It's stuck one to one. That's a strong kill. He's looking for that any kind of start with a dash attack or down air. There's four hits of an air right there. Really interesting thing he did right before this is that he went for down air. Made it seem like he was going to go for a cross up, but then the eyed in front of Leo. Crossing him up backwards, pretty much. It's amazing how reliable this drag down up air has been for Leo to find so many of these kills. About half meter right now for our scene, but there he comes out. To be noticed, the ally doesn't have much shield right now. 144. He needs to play real careful, or else that'll happen. But he's living great DI from Ally. Not from that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely not. not for that one. And Leo takes the first game confidently. Not entirely destruction, but still a pretty solid win nonetheless. Our Zen coming out so many times. Finding it right when he needs it. And again, charging it up on grenades, on C4s, on any explosives. And I don't think we saw Ally use Nikita once. He didn't really have too many options to. I mean, there were not many, very many scenarios where Leo was even off stage to begin with. So far, it really got really overwhelming towards the second into the first dog, or like this, at least the last dog, I want to say, because Leo kept doing this drag down upper combos into many regrabs, and it just kind of felt like Ally was just getting combo for an entire stock. Yeah. Zero, you know how you had trouble pronouncing Gutoni's name? I have trouble pronouncing Arsene. How do you say it? It's Arsene. Arsene. There you go. I'll never mess it up ever yeah, again. Yeah, think, think like Spanish. Think like, like Arsene. Okay, Arsene. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll never forget ever again. Thank yeah. you. The more you know. Hey, you called me out too. <laughs> I, 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 I called King Kiro an alligator, dude. <laughs> we make mistakes. All the time. Ally now finding two quick forward tilts and a dash attack on the ledge while he was using gun. Yeah, Leo not afraid to go for dash attack. They cross the stage too. Not afraid. Ooh. Goes for the up smash there. The sword does cover the arc. That arson up smash. Phenomenal kill so early. Okay, there's an Akita. First one we've seen. Barely missing. Very important to catch that kill pretty early. You do not want Joker to live too long, especially because he might be able to get two arsons in one stock. Down throw up smash. I don't think we've seen any of that. Arsene pretty much coming into play immediately. That was instant. Oh, the last hit of down air. Ally's in a weird spot. 
Yeah, that air dodge was really uncomfortable there. He can't he can't be taking risks like this like when when Leo has this much momentum going against him at 34% off the stage and now still two stocks apiece, but there's lead evaporated. That was a really interesting uh, way of landing. He, instead of air dodging, he just didn't. And the other time he up B and then air dodge from there. He's doing everything he can to trick Leo. Really hard to deal with those bullets coming down. Yeah, because he can mix them up left, right. The up air not going to get Ally out of the cypher. That grab range is absolutely insane. Trying to bait Leo at least into a roll or a normal get up here. Ooh. Leo choosing to jump very wise. Dash attack once again. And one, this time he's using guns to actually change his trajectory. This is top level play from MK Leo. Not only that, but the bullets also did hit the Nikita, making it harder for Ally to land that. I'm, I'm so impressed by what I just saw. <laughs> yeah, Leo absolutely thinks out of the box in every scenario. He always has a trick. Not afraid to grab yeah. Ally whatsoever here. What's the answer with Arsene? Up air, gonna do it as usual. This is still best of five, so Ally could lose here and still have a set to play. Yeah, the fact that it's best of five doesn't make this potentially the last game of the set. Right. But it is important nonetheless. Okay, he looked for that back here, but it was just too little too late. He snaps the ledge. MK Leo now four hits in. Spot dodging the grab. He's aware of everything. And that's gonna do it. Of course, at 165, Snake gets a guaranteed kill off a down throw. Yeah, that is a big deal, the fact that you can get at a certain percent, you can get a guaranteed kill off of it. Really definitely helpful in those scenarios where getting a kill can be really, really troublesome. I, I, I still can see Ally doing it. He's not showing too jump. much. Yeah, he's not shaking up too much. He just needs to wait for the storm to pass. Ally missing the punish in the side B there. Leo completely missing that one. C4 in the middle of the stage. MK Leo's been so aware of every C4 he's placing. Careful on the top platform. Yeah, Ally was definitely playing defensive because of oh. our set right there. Leo going all the way off the level. Drops down right as he gets hit. Oh, that was almost a combo into an up smash right there. Two side tilts in the Kita dropping it low. What's the read in there? Wrong direction. Grenade almost died at his own hand. The grenade kind of helped him here a little oh. bit. Oh, 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 he finds it every but, time. But Leo gets the pressure every single time too. Like, I feel like the grenade definitely put um, Ally in a decent spot because he wants to recover really high and at least have a jump. Because of the grenade, he didn't have to jump. But then the problem now is that he has to line against Leo. And Leo's not afraid of just jumping out with the upper. But that might have been a mistake when he held onto the grenade because it blew him up and that put himself right into that upper range for uh, MK Leo. Well, he did get hits into it. So it's probably, he didn't really get to choose that scenario. Maybe he was looking for an air dodge. Well, either way, it might have been a mistake, but Ally is not finding himself down 2-0. The question is, as he hovers over America and Japan and the world's favorite plumber, do I switch to my Smash 4 main? And the answer is yes, all or nothing. I mean, I think it is pretty wise to go into Mario at this point. Snake didn't work for both games, and turns out it's probably very likely that it's not going to work for the third game. So, why to switch characters at this point in time? I now, how oh does my. Ma Sorry, I thought he was going to tie off the guns right there. How does Mario even do against Joker, though? And that's a question that will get answered pretty soon. Ally, one of the best Mario players in the world. MK Leo, the best Joker. And right now, it's looking like you can start small combos, but Joker is just happy to stay on the ground, wait until you whip an aerial, and get a back here, Leo! Can you calm down? I love the fact that he double jump, fast felt, then back here, then kept drifting to the right, and I'll be like, nothing happened. That, those kind of sequences are pretty hard to do, because if you mess up, it's really easy to just, uh, you know, SD. And using that gun to actually force Ally off the ledge. He's finding small openings here, but it seems that it's just not enough per grab. Especially wow, compared that, to what he can with Snake. That type B makes it really hard for Mario to approach. It really does. Oh my goodness, drag down into an up throw, back air. Okay, looks like back air, Ally found that back air does go to some stuff. That had no lag whatsoever after. No. Oh jeez, a little bit of meter left on Arsene. At this point, it looks like Leo's just playing with his food at this point. Like, he just feels really comfortable. He's doing a whole lot of stuff that he hasn't been doing this set. Dropping down with four there, very aggressive landings. Like, he's absolutely not afraid in any capacity of what Mario can do here. Wow, he got the air dodge to live just one last second, but MKLA was clever enough to find a grab off that using gun dash. Oh, my. Yeah, using the gun to go into yeah. the center of the stage, get that landing.
What what more is there to say? This this is a master in his prime, Zio. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this at is, this point, it, it pretty much looks like Leo is just winning the tournament. This is this is Michael Phelps winning gold medals. This is Jordan at his prime. This is MK Leo, the king of Smash Ultimate, about to find himself in grand finals of yet another major. Hang you some the four tilt. They're perfectly spaced. Knows you can't shield grab, and then goes for the down tilt. Easy. Oh my goodness. This is absolute destruction. Like, I, like he's not even doing something that's like specifically crazy. It's just everything at once. He did like, the, he almost did the drag onto the side tilt just for the flex. And you Ally, know he wants that three stuck. Oh, back. never okay, mind. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ally shaking his head, saying, "You're not gonna get that on me. Maybe a JV three, <laughs> but not that." He's fishing for first head of forward so that he can land an up smash. The only way Ally wins this is if he gets a clutch all or nothing forward air read off the side twice. Yeah, that pretty On much looks about right. Leo's Joker, to let you know how hard that is. Pretty much at this point, Leo just looking for some type of edge guard here. Doesn't really care if he goes all the way out. <gasps> Ooh, yep, okay. he has to I go mean, for it. You can't blame the guy. This might be it. Ooh. Okay, good recovery from Ally. I like that. Going really low. Down air. I like not giving up, though. Arsene comes uh, through here. The blue man group. Up throw, up air, up B. Not quite a stock. He might die off the next side B, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, up in the air, yeah. Or just anything, really. Jab, fourth tilt. Okay. Okay, I like that use. Wait, wait, this wait. This might be a kill. Mm. Uh, what was that? Zero? Good jab. Two just ate his shield to throw into the work for him. Is the monster. This you know what I think Leo did there? Is that that might not look like a random jab, but the big thing to consider here is the fact that Leo was using a lot of four tilt up close and a lot of four tilt at the ledge. So what he did there was really interesting because he did jab one and jab two, very similar to the timing of four tilt. 